I purchased my first Goldline GL30 differential controller in 1980, and these controllers are still popular today. They worked fine with the taco circulator until the probes wore out. Since that time, with the help of Richard Helliger, I've designed, built, and tested over two dozen differential controller systems that regulate both AC and DC pumps. As you know, thermostatic differential controllers are used to sense a difference in temperature and drive a pump that maximizes solar heat collection. Controllers respond to the temperature difference between collectors and storage by turning on a pump. Simply stated, the pump is turned on when the collector probe is hot and the storage probe is cold. The difference between these temperatures regulates the flow and storage of heat. But, Without a latch circuit on the controller, the pump would chatter as the collector temperature approaches storage temperature. A practical pump-on temperature differential is about 15 degrees Fahrenheit, and a practical pump-off temperature differential is about 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, every system is a little different, but this is a good starting adjustment. This Simple controller has a differential temperature on adjustment between 5 degrees and 25 degrees Fahrenheit. The differential temperature off adjustment hovers between 0 degrees and 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Both these adjustments are made with this one potentiometer. Although not precise, the adjustment strikes a balance between heat collection and power consumption. The red indicator lamp comes on when the relay connects power to the pump. There are a variety of differential controllers available with a variety of features and a variety of prices. The controller that I'll be demonstrating in this video uses a red LED to signal that the pump is on and a green LED to indicate the differential temperature. This controller also uses a red LED to signal that the pump is on but it uses a bar graph to approximate both collector and storage temperatures. These AC-DC controllers regulate either AC or DC pumps, as do all my controllers. A red LED signals the pump on. Monitors are used to display the actual temperature of the collector and storage. Last but not least, we have Richard Helliger's latest differential solar heat loop invention that has more features than I now have time to discuss. So, you'll just have to wait for the next video. Now it's time to demonstrate the basic differential controller with a differential indicator. It's used to collect heat from a collector and store that heat in a heat storage tank. It does this by regulating a pump. So when the temperature in the collector is higher than the temperature in the storage tank, it will turn on the pump. But the question is how much hotter should it be? Well, that depends on the particular circumstances and how much energy you want to use uh, as opposed to how much heat you want to collect. And we can adjust that with this differential pot adjustment right here. Right now, uh, you can see this uh, green light. That green light indicates the uh, difference in temperature between the collector and storage tank. Right now, it's just barely glowing. Uh, that indicates a temperature difference of about 2 degrees. Uh, now, if I want to heat the storage probe up a little bit, you'll see that the light... Uh, will get dimmer and dimmer and now it's uh, now both the collector uh, temperature and the storage temperature is the same. Now uh, if I want to turn the pump on like I said we're going to have to raise the temperature of the collector and this is the collector probe. Let's see if we can raise that temperature. And now you can see the the green light starting to glow and it's getting brighter and that's enough to uh, turn the pump on. When there's a difference in temperature of only five degrees the pump comes on. Okay, now in order to turn the pump off we have to either 
decrease the collector temperature or increase the storage temperature. So let's increase the storage temperature. Okay, so I'm heating up the storage probe. You see the green light uh, went out, but it still hasn't come off, but now it, it did come off. Um, okay, so this is an extreme setting. This is designed to turn the pump on for a maximum period of time and its intention is to maximize the heat harvest without regard to the amount of power that's being used. And that's a, a full clockwise adjustment. Uh, if we turn this uh, differential pot adjustment totally counterclockwise, uh, this is for uh, the conservation of power. If you're using a photovoltaic panel and you don't have much power, you only want that pump to come on when it, it's absolutely necessary. Okay, so now it's going to take a lot more heat to turn the pump on, and you'll see what I mean. Let's heat up the collector probe, and let's, now you see it's glowing. That's a differential of about 10 degrees right there, but it's still not coming on. We have to get it really hot. So that's a differential of maybe 20, 25 degrees. So the pump comes on, and it's going to stay on, even though the collector probe cools down a little, and cool down to uh, for a differential of maybe uh, 15 degrees or so. It's, it's hard to tell exactly. Um, but basically, the pump doesn't stay on too long. It only uh, stays on when there's a very high difference in temperature. Now, neither one of these extremes would be ideal. Uh, in most cases. Your best setting is going to be someplace in between. Notice there's uh, still a difference in temperature between the uh, collector and storage because that green light is on. So I'm going to set this someplace in between. Okay, now let's uh, we'll heat up the storage. We'll see if we can we can uh, lower the differential temperature between collector and storage. So we turned the light out. So now the temperature of both is just about the same. And let's see how much heat it takes to turn the pump on this time. Okay, that's a differential of about 10 degrees. 10, maybe 15 degrees. All right, so that's a good basic setting for your differential controller would be someplace in between. Like I said, it's going to depend on your particular uh, application. Anyway, if you want more information about this little pump, uh, this little <laughs> differential controller with the differential indicator, uh, check out my website. I'll be looking for you there. Okay, have a good day. Thank you so much for your time.